Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 3. We are in the Vanatite Fortress called Crumbling Wall. Crumbling Walls? No, Great Walls. Um, oh, Crumbling, right. I was just looking at the map, and I saw the Crumbling Factory. That's where that came from, I guess. Um, and I was going to say that our party indicator must be completely off, but apparently Great Walls are here. I'm... Obviously, misremembering. I thought we were we just moved a little bit further east from the factory, and we should be somewhere around here. But no, I guess we we're very close to Black Crag, Black Crag Fortress, actually. And I wonder if that is a coincidence, or if maybe the Vanatai have tunneled into the fortress and are now threatening the the Empress, and we're gonna end up having to save her, perhaps, or maybe choose between saving her and not saving her, or something like that. I mean, that would be interesting, I suppose. Also, I should have looked at my action points. Not that it really matters for these enemies here. Not in the slightest. Actually, you know what? I did think about doing something, and I completely forgot about that. <laughs> oh well, let's do that after combat. I don't, I don't know if you can do it in combat. Or not. Maybe. Probably not, though. Doesn't matter. Grab stuff. Junk bag is full. Right. Uh, yeah, so I did not, as you can tell, uh, go back to civilization in between episodes. Because, well, yeah, that would be a major pain in the ass and not really worth it. Especially since we do have normal inventory space. Um, if and when that gets full, I guess I'll reconsider, but for now we're good. Uh, so the thing I wanted to do, or I thought about doing, just before getting ready to record here, is I actually thought about raising difficulty to Torment secretly, and just continuing and seeing um, how noticeable that would even be. But I guess I might as well do it openly now. Okay, we're not quite one-shotting them anymore, although that might have just been you know, a matter of luck or lack thereof. Right. Okay, that guy was one-shot. I, yeah, that, that must have been just a bad dice roll there. Honestly, it's probably not going to make a huge difference at all. Oops. Yeah. Plenty of space, no problem whatsoever. Okay. I'm seeing a pattern here. As far as the structure of this fortress goes. Okay, you cannot put more items even if they stack. We should already have some of these. And I wasn't entirely sure, but no, I guess, yeah, we must have plenty of lovely crystals as well. As well as, of course, razor discs. Although they only seem to stack up to 12. Is that, right? Is that always been the case? Oh wait, these are fine. Never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind, just blind. Oh, there's a, right, another room off to the side as well. Series of rooms. <laughs> Steal this candle? Nah. I'll just take the free golden goblet. That's okay. More ingredients that I'm probably, most likely, never gonna use. Oh. Okay. Just some civilians. No big deal. Did I even raise difficulty? <laughs> I mean, it's, it certainly doesn't feel like it. Which makes me feel a bit better about the fact that I, you know, could have raised difficulty a long time ago. Basically, as soon as it, the game started being completely trivial, no matter what I did. Oh, Jeweled Golem. Yeah, it honestly does not feel like it makes any difference. 
maybe the final fight or fights are gonna be extremely difficult as a consequence, but I kinda doubt it. Nothing here? Okay. Why am I even taking this boat? Oh. Okay, secret passage. The wheel is locked in place. You're unable to figure out how to get it to turn. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Is this... Hmm. Maybe the normal exit would have been blocked if not for Erika's energy blast? And if we had declined to take her aid to become her allies early in the game, uh, we would have had to take this roundabout way? Maybe? Or is this just supposed to allow you to bypass some of the fighting? I guess there would have been a lot more enemies too, if not for the blast, so... Hmm, weird. What about this... I guess this, this would be the normal access way to the, to the boats for the Vanatai to use. It's just not accessible for us. Interesting. I mean, I'm still gonna go the normal way, just because. Doesn't seem like I'm missing out on much, but there might be something. Actually, I totally missed this door as well. How did I miss that door? Who knows? These guys are just going to start running toward us anyway. Oh, can you not? No, not from there. Or maybe they are not. Or maybe they did. We just didn't see them. What? Oh, he... Of course he would go that way around. I should have known that. Maybe one of the bigger differences is not so much the health and damage values, but... No, we, we still have a 95% chance, never mind. That was just plain, plain old bad luck. Nothing unusual there. Lots of cloaks. Well, I mean, if if nothing else, I guess I'm not one-shotting them as consistently anymore. Yeah, definitely not. Pretty sure that on hard difficulty, I would still have one-shot every single one of them without fail. They do have a range attack. I mean, it makes sense. Why else would you position them here, right? <laughs> to wait for attackers if they couldn't even attack them through those uh, through those holes. Shield, huh? Yep, that still hurts a lot. But we heal almost to full. No problem. Grab this cloak. Well, inventory is filling up faster than expected. Also, what's up with these pillars here? Nothing? Okay. Nothing at all. Another cloak? I mean, sure, I guess. While I have room, I'll take them. Uh, I should also return up here and check out this door. Uh, you have to cover your nose. The filth and garbage generated by the fort is thrown in here, waiting to be chucked into a pit and burnt up with fireballs. Oh, and there's also an herb basilisk. Okay, still easy. I guess I would have almost one shot it still.
Hmm, door here. Interesting. Bags of coal. Well, so long as it's stackable things, I'm okay with that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Too bad there's not a boat here. That would be interesting. Please make cloaks stackable. That's that's the one change I would make. What do we have here? Oh, just a cryos demon, randomly tucked away in this tiny little summoning chamber. I am going to do this. Let's just see. Okay, that was a one shot. Sure enough. Wasn't necessarily expecting it, but that's okay. Uh, Wisdom Crystal. Have we started giving those to you? Or... I guess? Wait, or have I... No, never mind. She's a lot further along. I guess I maybe gave some to her. Don't remember. Well, I'm doing it now, so there's that. Uh, um, okay, running out of room fast. Maybe I'm actually going to make a trip back to sell stuff. I should have done that before the final push on what I had to expect to possibly be the final dungeon. Magical energy, okay. I guess we no one was missing any magical energy at all. Oh well. <clears throat> right, and then we have one final room, it looks like. Nope. A bit more over there. Curing elixir. I'm not sure, why not? Wave blade. Also, why not? More cloaks? No, no. No more room. Well, I mean, you have room, but you know what? Screw those cloaks. I know, preposterous thing to say, but sue me. You pull the lever. Indeed I do. Would that maybe that would have opened the main gate? If I if it wasn't already open? Oh, and this connects to here, huh. Yeah, I I don't know. Some of these mysterious elements must be because there are multiple ways to technically deal with this place and traverse this. I don't think the lever did anything for me in this situation. I'm just making sure there are no extra doors that have opened. Doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe I'm missing something, but I don't think so. Oh, Vonatai Caverns. Oh, never mind. So this does not connect to... Uh, to black track at all. No map exists. I see it. So this is an entirely new overworld. Who knows how big. Well, is there going to be some friendly place to sell stuff? I mean, that would be nice to give me some kind of outpost here to, to maybe rest and, you know, do the normal maintenance. Because at this point, it's a pretty long trip back to civilization. Not to mention the, the trip back here, then. That's going to waste a lot of time. Both in-game and, you know, my own time. Anyway, let's keep pushing forward. Um, you're faced with an all-too-familiar sight. It is a cavern, miles wide, lit by green fluorescent fungi. Your eyes quickly adjust, absorbing the grim familiarity of the view. You have no warm feeling of homecoming. These are Vanatai lands, not human. It was from this place that the Vanatai sought to obtain their total vengeance on the Empire that wrung them, destroying your home in the process. I mean... Destroying your home? They, they, the game keeps saying that as if we had already been living on the surface. They are talking about the surface, right? The Vanatai, as far as we know, did not uh, destroy a Vernum, like, you know, the human settled parts of a Vernum. Anyway, th so it should be destroying your future home in the process. Anyway, it is from here that the monsters originated, and it is here they must be stopped somehow. Okay, well... We've been reasonably successful so far. 
sign has Valentine writing car uh, carved on it, you can't quite translate it. Hmm. Despite all of our Valentine knowledge. Okay. I wonder if these parties are gonna run from us as well. I guess we should find that out, shouldn't we? They will not. Okay. Or maybe they don't because we're on higher difficulty? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, these are warriors. Although, weren't they warriors in the fortress as well? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see how they respond to something like this. Okay, as expected. Pretty much. Oh, this might not actually kill them. Okay, it killed one. Close enough. Looks like damage enemies deal is not necessarily that much higher than I'm used to. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Soften these guys up a bit further so we can hopefully, probably, finish him off like this. Maybe not this one. He actually did not take that much damage. Ah, of course. Actually, I should have used uh, Fire Rain. That just deals so much more damage than her single target. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. And Fireball. Close range Fireball to the face. Ah, oh, all the sweet, sweet loot. Well, at least we can take these. Oh. I'm. Never mind. Let's do this. And now we can just easily do this. Take the blade, which is worth a lot more. And yeah, just leave the cloaks. Alright, so there are lots of Vanatai parties to fight here. If I so choose. Doesn't look like they're actively coming after me, they're just patrolling the roads. Okay. So far, so good. Hmm. Alright, okay. Oh. Well, oh. Interesting. Um, Volantai Undead Party. Um, I really don't know which of these are worse. There are fewer wraiths. Uh, yeah, wraiths. So I guess maybe they're worse. I don't know. They're also immune to frost, which makes sense since they're undead. Okay. Ooh, nice crit. Nice crit again. Wow. Maybe kill him? Uh, almost. Well, I hope I'm, I'm right and the Bonavoy aren't really that bad. Oh, wow. I'm, of course I missed the one that I could have killed. Classic. Yeah, it seems like they're just undead warriors. Not that bad. Although I guess if they really wanted to, they could have killed Thessia easily enough. Guess I got lucky there. Hmm. How am I going to handle this? I'm going to try another earthquake after this, so I'll just... Weaken them all around. Maybe, well, you'll do this. Yeah, that didn't kill them, but I should get a couple of kills out of this now. I hope I'm right. Okay, wow, that was more successful than I expected, honestly. Good thing, too, because uh, otherwise she would have been in a bit of trouble. Okay, Quick one of these, one of these, and these. Yeah, of course they stack past 12. I, I don't know why I was even thinking that. That makes no sense. Oop. <clears throat> right. Uh. Oh, they're coming after me, I guess. At least for a moment. Oh? Oh? Vanatai Crypt? Oh. Hmm. Vanatai Crypt. Uh, is there some sort of 
Greeting. As you pass this large square pillar, you notice that the passage feels strangely warm. You touch the stone wall, and it's searing hot to the touch. Something very warm must be stored inside. Oh. Okay. Um. Do I want to explore this now? I think I want to get a feeling for what's... What kinds of places there are before I start exploring some sort of indoor location. Can still fly. Good to know. Okay, there's another side cavern. This tunnel has a rough, narrow path running down the center. There is a deep pair of parallel ruts in the stone left by sledges. This corridor has seen a lot of heavy traffic. Oh. Oh. You see the group of Vanatai guards in the distance. They see you at the same time. You try to move away only to find how amazingly fast the creatures are able to move through caves. <laughs> okay. Let's not avoid them. Let's humor them. So level up. Strength. Weapons. And crit. Thank you very much. Okay. Resistance warriors and golems. Are golems even any kind of threat at this point? The warriors are reasonably tough. Oh wow, the golems are a lot tougher than expected. Maybe I should have... Uh, I probably should have... Uh, you know, ensnared them. I really should have. Well, wait. Do we not have... Oh, that's Blink. I thought we had an item to replicate uh, the Daze spell. Oh, we do. However, it is not an improved Daze. So it's not going to actually ensnare them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that was to be expected. But it's, it was only an item, so we can still do at least this and kill one of the warriors. Yeah, this is going to be painful. Or not as painful, again, uh, as it could have been. Well, it is painful. Oh no! Oh god, okay. Still, not as bad as it could be. Uh, um. Oh boy. No snipe, huh? You kind of need to heal yourself, unfortunately. I wouldn't like to. I, I would really like to resurrect, but I feel like that's not a good idea. Why don't you retreat as far as you can, and then do this. Right. Okay. Okay, so far so good. Yep. You can move, that's okay. Let's get some kills here. Return life. Hope that that wasn't a mistake. Okay, good. Nah, not great. But, yeah, she should be safe. Well, this turned out to be surprisingly rough. Because, yeah, I, I was... I guess the game is a bit more challenging now than it used to be. Thanks to the increased difficulty. Which, you know, makes perfect sense. I had basically forgotten about, you know, how to deal with more challenging encounters in the meantime. Such as actually making sure my enemies don't kill me. Other than just killing them before they do before they get a chance to fight back. So that's not always gonna work out this way.
Okay, uh, let's also save the game. I think I ha haven't saved the game all episode, possibly. At least not in a long time. The Vanatai army brings supplies for the surface forest using, using this river. Huge cave wood barges land at these docks. Unfortunately, there are no boats here at the moment, of course. Okay, so that was just... Oh, never mind. Although the boats are gone, the Vanatai left some supplies behind in this encampment. You find bags of dried mushrooms and two ceramic flasks. Take it. Mushrooms. Oh, literally just mushrooms. Yeah, okay, thanks, but no thanks. Energy elixir. And a speed elixir. Okay. Yes. Alright, well, at least we got something. In addition to some, you know, lore. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I mean, it's not like we can't just fight these patrols. And leaving behind the cloaks really isn't a huge deal at all. Um, ah, okay. So that one. And I guess, you know, in accordance with what I just said, I'm gonna do some of this. Oh, did I miss this guy entirely? I suppose so. Okay, he, he is stunned. He was stand here. And blast across all of those. Blade shields. Okay, that guy's not blade shielded. Fireball. There we go. And inventory is full. Officially full. Honestly, I should just drop all those cloaks. They're really not worth any money at all. Not that I need to be worrying about money in the first place, but you know. RPG instincts and all that. Uh, the Vanatai have prepared for your arrival. A heavy force guards this bridge that we didn't even need to use because we can just fly it, but okay. Ranks of well-armed soldiers await you. Several elite warriors hold back small blue lizards on long chains. As you approach, they watch you with cold hatred. They don't break formation, though, waiting instead for you to approach. <sighs> I could just leave, interestingly, but I'm not going to. The large forest blocks the bridge. Some of the Vanatai prepare spells. They are ready to die defending whatever lies beyond. I mean, I've, I'm already beyond, though. This makes no sense at all. Okay, Rebezalisk and Shaper fall immediately. I think I'm most worried about the Basilisks. Maybe? Maybe I should be more worried about the Shapers. I'm also going to keep going with this, the tried and true tactics of uh, actually crowd controlling my enemies. Um, I, I can't tell. Yeah, this should be okay, leaving only this shaper out of the area. Okay, did not reach these here, but, but these ones were reached, so one, two, three, four, five, six seems to be the range. Okay. Yeah, they have range attacks. Okay, but they didn't make good use of those. Right, there are two Myrmidons as well. Didn't see those at first. They do look a bit different than the Shapers, but you have to be, you have to really pay close attention to spot the difference. Um, I'm not sure if this guy is going to die from another earthquake, though. He might. Yeah. We all really, we also really could use some healing. 
but I'm gonna go with some haste. She has Battle Frenzy. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm gonna heal. She's hasted, but unfortunately, unfortunately, 9 AP is not enough to do two things. I was kind of hoping to maybe get two Earthquakes off, and I would have, but I think this is still the safer approach. Ooh, although, that being said, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, wait, oh. For a second there, I was hoping that maybe she was missed, but no. Hasted, yeah, well, hasted and wasted. Someone at some point will have to resurrect her. Uh, you know what? Step back. Should give you a much better angle, yes. Much better. One could say almost perfect. I wonder if maybe ensnaring them ultimately hurt me, because they were basically all forced to use their range attacks and thus all able to hit Thessia. I mean, they could have done that, but I'm pretty sure the AI would have chosen instead to choose melee targets and only have maybe a couple of them use range attacks at all, and maybe not all of them would have focused on Thessia, thus allowing her to survive. But I don't know, it's purely theory anyway. Sounds it's not looking so hot. Even if we get a bunch more kills. I mean, I guess we can do this. To hopefully ensure his survival. Should kill these two here. Yes, okay. That one's dazed. Okay, I'm also going to use another one of my... Use another one of my... Precious Resurrection Scrolls. Okay, this was a rough fight, as expected. Um, maybe I m made some bad decisions, tactically speaking, but we won. Dropping stuff doesn't take action points, apparently. Good to know. So let's just litter this bridge with cloaks. Whoever is gonna uh, inspect the battlefield afterwards is gonna be quite so, quite confused about this. You grimly butcher the rest of the guards. Grimly butcher? Wow. I mean, I'd like to think that we don't do that, but okay. Confident that this battle was a mere appetizer for the banquet of carnage to come. What? Wow. What's with the uh, sudden bloodthirst? The large force blocks the bridge. What? The large block force... Some of the Valentine prepare spells? They're ready to die? Whatever. What? What? And then they evaporate? That was weird. Like the same encounter spawned again? In front of us? But... Okay. I am... Um, hmm. Not entirely sure what happened there. Not quite sure. I think I'm just gonna go with good old damage and hope that we'll kill enough of them to make this somewhat safe. Well, I don't know, that's maybe not gonna work out that well. Ah, you would. Just stand there. Okay, two of them skipped their turns. Honestly, it's not super reliable, but the fact that Earthquake, or Divine Retribution, um, has a pretty good chance to slow them and even stun them makes it a lot safer to use than it would otherwise be. Okay. Don't kill Rosluca, please. We've talked about this. Okay. 
I mean, there's literally no reason not to just use um, Divine Retribution over and over, but it's so ingrained into my, you know, being as a as an RPG player to be efficient, to not spend the most expensive spells. It's really hard to shake. Okay, um... Okay, there's something here. A Vanata patrol saw you approach and was waiting in ambush. When you get close, they emerge from their hiding places behind the trees and charge. Their battle cries echo across the cavern. Fine. I'll slaughter more of you guys. Or, I guess, mercilessly butcher, or however the game likes to put it. Oh, there is a Myrbidon. Which uh, we should be able to take out like this. Okay. Oh. Well, that's most unfortunate. That is extremely unfortunate. Um Wait, you're a shaper, but you don't look like a shaper. Wow, I feel betrayed. Why are you brown and not blue? How? How is that even possible? Is that on purpose? Uh, I mean, okay. Yeah, I was afraid that was going to happen. Am I going to use... No, I'm not. I'm not going to use two resurrection scrolls. I feel like this is a really cheap trick. I mean, would I have focused on this guy if I had seen that he was a shaper instead of a warrior? Maybe. Not necessarily. I mean, yeah, he's not wearing, a, uh, not wielding a sword too. But still, I mean, come on. That's just cheap. Uh, but most importantly, I already already used a resurrection scroll recently in in a situation where it shouldn't necessarily have been, you know, where it shouldn't have been necessary. Uh, whatever. Load, auto save. No idea where that put me, but. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Let's try that again, without two people dying, perhaps. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you're a shaper. Interesting. And, I mean, it's possible that... I've never seen them use uh, Divine Retribution before, so... Maybe that is not something the normal shapers can even do. Well, as I said, now that I know this, I'm definitely going to focus on this guy. Oh, well. Oh, well. Resist dazed, of course. Hmm. Okay. Here goes nothing. They are all slow. Okay. Two of them skip their turns. I mean, that already helps quite a bit. Even if it's only two of them. Okay, take out the Shaper. Take out... Uh, this guy. Oh, you get another? Oh, because extra action points. Nice. Well, in that case... In that case, why don't you... Attack over there. And all but ensure that... We'll get a couple of kills here. I'm gonna risk not healing, specifically. We have only two enemies left and I was not expecting the cleave, but okay, well... Could have been bad, but uh, that worked out much 
Much better. Yet more Volantai have died at your hand. It is not hard to be sickened by the struggle against your former allies. Uh, yeah, it is hard not to be sickened by the struggle against your former allies. Considering that it was their aid that saved you in the war with the Empire, it is tragic that it has come to this. I mean, yes, it is. And I certainly do not enjoy doing this, but it is the Vanatai who brought this upon themselves. I'm not sure what they expected. Did they expect us just to sit by and watch them take their... I, I mean, I don't want to say unjustified revenge. They clearly feel it's justified, because touching their their sacred crystal souls is obviously a much bigger deal to them than it would seem than would maybe seem to us as outsiders but they're also you know completely uncompromising in their pursuit of their revenge not considering the not considering the the needs and desires of their allies of, of us and in fact going so far as to openly declare war on us because we're not willing to let them do what they want to do it's... I don't know but yeah I, I'm not sure if the game is trying to make me feel bad about what I'm doing here especially since especially since I'm as far as I'm aware there is nothing we could have done differently this is this has to be the only outcome right it's not like we can just let the Vanatai do what they're doing and just sit back and watch. This is the only the only course the game allows. Anyway. This narrow cavewood bridge crosses this river at a narrow point. The path and the bridge have already gathered a light layer of mold. Vanatai patrols don't come up here much. Okay. Good. Vanatai home. Oh. Could this be... I mean, we're still looking for our mysterious friend, our savior... Um, could this be where he lives, perhaps? And could this thus function as some kind of safe haven? When you approach this home, an insubstantial shade appears to you. It says, Welcome to the home of Bon Irno, on, of the Vanatai. Yeah, okay, Bon Irno. I think that's the guy who first appeared... Oh, um, I might be wrong. But I think that might be the guy who first appeared as a projection in... What was the place called? The first town that was... Um, well, not, not the first town. The, the town that... Uh, what even happened? Where, like, the, the earth broke open, split open, and a new passage, the first passage to the Vanatai lands appeared in the second game? Um, I know exactly where it is, but what was it called? Well... I don't know. Uh, I think that might have been Bonirno. Come in, please, quickly. You have little time. Then it fades. Hmm. Home of Bonirno. All right. Please tell me I can sell stuff to you. Please, please, please. An old Vanatai sits slumped on his stool, leaning against the stone table. He looks very tired. I am Bon Irno, he rasps. Bon Irno is a hero and figure of legend. During the devastating Empire invasion of Avernum, it was he who first contacted humanity. Okay, good. Hey, my, mem my memory doesn't suck entirely. That's uh, always nice when that happens. He guided the first human visitor visitors to Vanatai lands during the Empire War. Now that Rentar Irno has waged war on humanity, all he has struggled for has fallen apart. Greetings to you, human. This is a place of peace. The last one, I think. Greetings, Bon Irno. He sighs. Greetings to you. You have come far and faced many dangers to stand here. I hope now you will join in the fight against the insanity. Joyously, my battle against Rentar Irno is almost over. Almost over? I mean, for you, I guess. Uh, why do you live in this remote place? I am old and tired. The side I have chosen is a small and losing one, and my foes are too many, too strong. Also, I have been assisting you. 
soon there will there will be a finish. There is always a finish. You said that your battle is almost over. What did you mean? I wish not to talk of that. Instead, let us speak of the insanity that has consumed my people. Let us speak of ending the monster plagues. Okay, sounds good. Can you help me fight the Vanatai causing the plagues? He slumps further in the seat. In his seat. I wish to assist you in your assault on Renta Irno and her minions. I wish it was not necessary to turn against my people, but I must. This revenge madness has consumed them. Okay, so it's not just us who think this is madness. This is, that's definitely good to know. Even though, unfortunately, it seems like only a minority of the Vanatai sees reason this way. But, um, well, it's what it is. What has fueled their desire for revenge? I mean, we know that, I think. It's the theft of the Crystal Souls. Yes. The Empire stole three of our Crystal Souls, our leaders, our gods, the most beloved of us all. I cannot express what a horrid shock this was to us. In the thousands and thousands of years of our, record, of our recorded history, no such thing has ever happened. That theft led to all this warfare. Well, yeah, again, we knew that. Surely the Empire has been punished enough. I mean, honestly, the Empire has not been punished at all. It, yes, they they were just in, they were basically in the process of colonizing this continent, the continent of Valerim, and adding it to the Empire. But they had barely arrived, and there were very few actual Imperials there yet. So it has really been hitting mostly, almost entirely non-Imperials, who were completely uninvolved in anything. Not to mention that even if these had been, uh, you know, lands settled by the Empire for a longer time, they would still have mainly killed and tormented innocent, you know, citizens and not the, the people actually responsible. So this entire revenge campaign is so entirely pointless. Right there, sacred leaders were attacked, and they retaliate by killing thousands and thousands of innocents good job guys good job really that's that's justice <sighs> okay whatever enough enough all this warfare yeah what do the Vanatai leaders hope to accomplish that's a really good question um i mean okay let's say surely the empire has been punished enough no i do not think so but the slaughter of innocents is the wrong way to make the empire atone Thank you. Some of the Empire committed a grievous crime against us. Those people paid with their lives. He shakes his head. Why then must the Empire surf the entire surface be destroyed? It makes no sense. Amen to that. What do the Vanatai leaders hope to accomplish? Our leaders have convinced themselves that destroying the thieves, the Empire, will make them safe. They are wrong, of course. Nothing can do that. And the war will only ravage this world and cause millions of needless deaths. And that, brave humans, is why I must assist you. How can you help? I've been trying to project myself to you for months, to give you advice and aid. Here, in my humble hut, you can find supplies and rest. More importantly, I have the most vital information to give you. What information can you provide? Renta Irno's fortress is to the southeast. It is where she performs her mighty alchemy to make the monsters. Her rituals are powerful and delicate. The monsters are made near here? Not quite. The monsters, once made, breed and expand on their own. The fort is where Renta Irno molds new monsters. The successors to the slimes and roaches and golems and troglos and giants and beasts. She makes them using powerful alchemy and machinery. If not stopped, the spawn of her talents will double and redouble the carnage caused so far. Can you describe how she makes new creatures? She has four vats of magical powerful liquid stored under her tower. Four beams of magical energy are directed into the vats. Then the liquids are poured into the main vat through many pipes. The stuff passes through the beams and is transformed. It is magic of power beyond my comprehension. However, it has a weakness. What's a weakness? The four beams have different levels of energy and qualities. When one, two, or three of them are trained onto the fluid, it can be shaped. Four, however, is too much. If all four beams reach the center and the magical machines which disperse the liquid and make life and are activated, the explosion will destroy her fortress. This is something you could do. Alas, there is a problem. Like the immediate huge explosion that is going to be caused, um, that is going to kill us all. 
Once the beams are directed into the vat, the controls to activate the magic are in Rantar Eno's workshop. To reach it, you will have to elude her. How can we elude the greatest Vanda Time Mage? He looks concerned. I'm afraid that will be your problem. I cannot help with that. I wish you the best of luck in your assault, and if you like, there are rest and supplies for you here. Uh, well, thank you for your offer of rest. I have set up a room where you can sleep safely. There is also a supply room where you can get useful potions. Were I, were I not forced to be here in secret, I could help more. Hmm. Okay, tell me about Rentar Irno. Rentar Irno is our greatest mage. She is our most powerful mage in the last millennium. Her skills were her skills were what defeated the Empire in their war with you. The monsters were her creation. Her mind has departed her. Is Rentar insane? Not quite. She is like your Archmage Erika. Hatred of the Empire consumes her to the exclusion of all else. I respect her. I respect her skills. But the revenge madness has made her a danger, and she must be stopped. It is a clear truth, and saying it makes my kind despised. Why are you so despised? He looks incredibly sad. My people wish nothing to do with one who will not join their revenge madness. I hide here and oppose them. It is just a part of the misery that has become my life. You also know Erika? Another female suffused with power and consumed by hate. These two titans of magic fill me with fear. Uh, I do have a bad feeling about Erika's involvement. I mean, so far she has helped. She hasn't done a whole lot, but what she has done was helpful. I mean, we'll see how else she might get herself involved in the story down the road. Uh, are you really the first Vanatai to contact the humans? No, that honor belongs to the first Vanatai murdered by the Empire. But I was the first to greet your people with the offer of peace. Tell me about it. When our people attacked yours, thinking you had stolen our crystal souls, I alone wanted to deal with you. So I sent a projection to one of your cities, asking you to send an envoy. Fortunately, you did. Who went? A small band of adventurers, incredibly brave and resourceful. They traveled through deadly, unexplored caves to reach me. They negotiated with Rentar Irno and our council, and thus we became friends. For a short time. What happened to the adventurers? I do not know. I believe they are still in Avernum, helping to protect it from danger. Whatever their path is, I am sure it is noble, dangerous, and lined with treasure. Yep, quite likely. Okay, thanks, man. Sure, you didn't really help? much? No, I mean, he, he gave us some vital information, he's allowing us to rest. So, yeah, he's definitely helping. But he is not a merchant. <laughs> this is Born Eno's supply room. He has left supplies here to help you finish your quest. Yes, nice and all. But, honestly, especially just herbs, don't help me at all. Without some kind of alchemist to turn them into usable potions. I mean, it's a nice gesture, but it's not actively useful. More cloaks, no. Please. The case contains some of Bon Irno's personal effects, robes, crystals, and the like. We respectfully leave them alone. Thanks for not even allowing me to steal from him. That would be very, very rude. Bon Irno has set up several of the narrow, uncomfortable Vanatai beds in this room. You could guess rest. Guess you, you could get rest before continuing. It's a risk to spend time here, so deep in enemy territory. But you might be safe for a little while. I mean, it's not. I don't think we absolutely have to get rid of the wounds, which we also didn't. What? You managed to get a few hours of uneasy sleep. You are awakened by a short shriek coming from the outer room. Oh no! Please, we did not indeed get rid of our wounds. But of our, of our buffs, that's uh, hmm. not great. Uh, Ward of Steel? I think we're, we've been mostly dealing with physical damage with the Vanatai here. I mean, I, I didn't have to rest here. If I hadn't rested here, would this not have happened? When you emerge from the bedroom, you stumble into an ambush. The floor is splattered with blood. Bon Irno has been slain, cut down by one of his own people. His killer stands over him, wiping his wave blade clean. A nearby shaper says, So goes for traitors. The warriors look up to see that you have emerged. One of them says, Ah, yes, invader Evernight here, about to die. 
Orders. Slay now at last. The monetized step over Bon Irno's body to engage you. You can't read any of their emotions. You jerks. Oh, that's another one of those brown shapers. I'd rather avoid another earthquake if I can, so... Let's try this. Okay, at least the shapers have been dealt with. Would it be possible to angle the spell like this? Will this actually miss her? I hope so. It sure did. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a real shame about Bonnie Erno. That that was extremely cruel and unnecessary. And I really wonder what happened what would have happened if I had not rested here. Especially since that didn't even help. The only reason I, I even decided to rest was to maybe get rid of the wounds. Because at this point I had basically decided to return to uh, Human Lands in between episodes to sell stuff. <sighs> okay, now what? Oh. We weren't done. No further message? Nothing? Can we actually rest now? It's tempting to rest again, but now that the Vanatai know you're here, the delay would probably be fatal. <laughs> wow, what a huge slap on the face. We don't even... Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm tempted to reload and not rest here, just so that Bonierno can survive, but I mean, I guess it's... He would have died anyway. Either of old age or because the other Vanatai would have eventually found him. But still, it's, I, I mean, it doesn't feel great. What is this? Secret passage, okay. You find a small pool fed by a tiny trickle of a stream. You notice that the stone the water emerges from glows slightly and a tiny amount of that phosphorescence has been absorbed by the water. Sure, let's drink it. The water is cool and refreshing. Incredibly so, in fact. It must have absorbed energy from the stone it passed through. You feel recharged. As you drink, the water rapidly loses its glow. It's unlikely anyone will be able to get any appreciable benefit from the pool until it recharges, which won't be for some time. And that did... what now? Did that just heal us? It, because it certainly did not get rid of our wounds. Again. <gasps> Game. Am I going to return to to a human city just to sell my stuff? I don't know. It's probably not actually worth it. It's definitely not necessary, but I don't know. It would make me feel better. I could just stop looting stuff and be completely fine. Uh, I don't know. I guess it depends on whether I feel like it. I know it's pointless and unreasonable to do it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> We're about to end this episode anyway, and uh, we will see as soon as the next episode starts what I have decided to do. I just don't know. Right, 
It's too bad that we don't at least get a rough map of the area. But it's really not particularly complicated. I did not mean to necessarily get into combat here. That's okay. Two, three, or not. Oh, that's gonna hit her, for sure. So we don't do that. Do this instead. Not a single kill. Should do the trick then. Um, or we could miss three of them. It's pretty impressive. Okay, uh, Rentar's fortress is supposed to be to the to the southeast. That is. Well, yeah, this place is really not particularly complicated. I mean, the road goes here. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna stop here. It, I could keep going, and I'm really tempted to, and I will, <laughs> but next time. And you'll see whether or not I decided to get rid of all my junk. Um, I mean, I guess I could do that and also probably find a couple of places to spend some of that money. If nothing else, there should be a few spell trainers left that I could... Um, that I could pay, even though it's not really gonna do much for me. Yeah, my list says there are at least two spell trainers that I should still have something to learn from. Hmm. <laughs> There's also the mansion in Lorelei, which might have more random events when I return to civilization anyway. As well as two treasures that I was told about. I mean, I don't know. I really should not do that. It's such a long trip back. Maybe I'm just gonna throw away my stuff and you know, <laughs> be okay with it. Ah, man, I, I don't know why why I'm why I obsess so much about this. This is probably incredibly annoying to to to, to hear me keep rambling about that. So I'm gonna stop now. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.